Yeah, welcome YouTube. My name is Paul Kroon and today I'm going to talk to you about styling in Power Apps. And I think I'm going to do a few videos on styling so I can show you how to build a style sheet, so a design sheet and a template sheet and some template controls, uh, which you can copy from the design sheet to your other screens where you want to use it. So let's go to Power Apps and we first start by creating a new app. And in this first video, I'm gonna make a design screen. So I'm gonna make a general screen for all my app, uh, like, a, like a template. So I can just copy the template screen and then say, uh, I want to use that. Now first let's pick some other team and then insert a new screen, a scrollable screen. So we have a bar here. I'm gonna look at the bar color. Uh, the fill and I'm gonna copy this and make it the fill of the label because when I do that I don't need the rectangle anymore he's yelling at me because he had a section and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and I'm gonna tell this this is the design screen I copy this bar bring it down and say this is my footer I better call this a header then now I want to Add in some images. One here and another image right here. It's gonna be forty. Now I'm gonna make it fifty, and I'm gonna make the bar fifty also. Now I want to add some media and take a power app logo and the logo of my company. I'm gonna call this KOS power apps and this gonna be uh, Power apps, the Power apps logo. I'm gonna fill this with white and then I'm gonna rename my buttons. So first start with a header. I say design header. And what I do before is screen. Oh no, not here. I'm gonna use, uh, rename the screen to screen OO design. I'm gonna call this one the footer let's make small letters after the first two capital letters. Okay, this is the header image and this is the footer image. So I basically have set up my first design for my screen and I think this screen I want to use in my whole app. I'm gonna delete the first screen and what I'm gonna do is to duplicate this screen Take it one up and say this is not my design, but this is gonna be my template. So later on, when I want to use another screen, I'm just gonna duplicate this, and this is gonna be my base screen to work off. Now, all the screens I have, when I change something here, I want to have it changed with all my screens 
So I have to change it with a template screen. So let's start at the background. So the canvas and say this gonna be uh, equal to S00 design fill. And I'm basically gonna do this for all my uh, controls. Oh, background image. Image position, loading spinner. I don't think you can do that, but let's see if it's possible. Oh, you can do it. Okay, nice. Let's have the same for this. S00 zero zero design. And the way I use this naming convention, uh, I will explain in a later video. Because there, I don't gonna do the unhidden, unvisible uh, properties because there I want to add my formulas. So now, what basically happened when we later on say we want to duplicate the screen, move up and say this is gonna be our first screen and it's gonna be a dashboard. It's gonna be connected to this screen. So when I use the fill here to let's say uh, black and we go to our dashboard everything's gonna be black so that's for the for the background now I want to connect my items of my controls I have on the template screen and I'm gonna delete this one. I want to connect to the design screen. So first I'm gonna start with my footer and I'm gonna tell it this is the template footer. Rename the template header image. Okay, now I've got to say this is an image template footer and a template header I'm gonna basically do the same here only go to the advanced bar and start on the bottom because uh, there are drop down fields with some uh, areas and it keeps me from selecting the next one so i start at the bottom and i said the width is going to be the same as the d header dot width gonna select the first one till the dots and say this is gonna be the same for all the controls which are there to do aligning to do all kinds of uh, styling properties Waiting. right and I just blindly do it for every control which I would later on maybe would like to change in my design and what's the nice thing about this when you once build this a solution then you can uh, uh, save this template as a new file and just re reuse it for every app you build and import it as uh, uh, create a new file
don't forget to change uh, that setting because uh, standard it's stated to update and if you uh, are updating it you have to have a file naming the same you really are able to update but you can create a new file of it focus border color and you see I just do everything don't think about it but just change every setting which has to do, to do something with styling Okay, that went wrong. And you see, I also reset all the settings for uh, the settings which are uh, connected to uh, the own box. And the reason is that uh, my uh, parent control, or the control this one is inherited from, uh, has the same structure but when I want to change something later on uh, I don't I j just want it to take uh, my uh, mother control so last for the line height oh and the first is done <coughs> and what we're gonna do we're gonna do this for all the controls I don't gonna let you see this in this video because then else it would be very uh, annoying probably so i think this is enough for a style sheet eh, for uh, the basic style from your app and in the next video i'm gonna add some design controls and some template controls and i think in the first video i'm gonna show you how you can do that with the icons and i use icons as kind of buttons because i like the look and feel for the customer with using icons so if you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel. And I hope to see you in the next part of our styling videos. Thanks for watching.